fam, welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It's Monday, I've been to work for the morning and I'm just on my break between shifts so it's time to start the vlog. So I have grand plans uh, for reading this week which <laughs> It's just every week. So we're gonna go through what I plan to read. So first I'm going to be buddy reading The Night Circus by Erin Morganston with Kara from Bianca Reads. It will be a reread for her but it is my first time reading it and I'm also doing the Newt's Magical Readathon this month so this is to get an outstanding in Care of Magical Creatures which is to read a book with a bird on the cover because there is a bird right there. So we've split it up into seven sections so we read a section a day and we'll finish it on Sunday. So today I'm I have to read up to page 86 because I don't know why the font in my edition is so big <laughs> but anyway I'm really excited to read this uh, I'm kind of scared that I won't love it as much as Kara and everyone else but we shall see. So that's the first book on the agenda. My audiobook for this week is The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. I'm honestly expecting this to take me like at least two weeks to read and I'm fine with that and I started listening to this on my way to and from work this morning so I'm about 30 pages in but yeah I'm just so excited to see how this series wraps up even though I know there's like a second series within this series but Anyways, then we have three other books that I'm in the middle of reading. We have The Magnolia Sword by Sherry Thomas. I was sent this by the publisher and this comes out in Australia in November. I am about 55 pages into this so I really want to finish this this week as well because I'm loving it so much. Oh, I forgot to say what these count for. The Hero of Ages will be to get an acceptable in herbology which is to listen to an audiobook and this is to get an exceeds expectations in defense against the dark arts which is to read the first book on your TBR that came to mind when you watched the announcement video. I'm also 130 pages into What Happens Now by Sophia Money Coots. This is another book sent to me for review by the publisher. This is an adult romance book and I'm really enjoying it. This one is to get an exceeds expectations in ancient runes which is to read a book written in past tense. And then we have my reread of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm only two chapters into this. I was planning on reading five chapters last night to catch up on my like chapter a day but I didn't. I started watching uh, Bon Voyage so that didn't happen. <laughs> so yeah maybe I'll just keep reading a chapter a day. I I don't care if I don't finish this like as soon as possible I just want to finish it by the end of the month. And this is for Acceptable in Defense Against the Dark Arts which is to read a book that's black under the dust jacket because this edition is black under the dust jacket and I am kind of like I'm annotating both of these. This one just with everything and this one just with Hufflepuff related stuff. So yeah. Oh also though this this week um, Of Ice and Shadows by Audrey Colthurst comes out so I've had that pre-ordered for months now so it's on its way to me so I'll probably pick that up this week as well because I am so so anticipating it like I can't wait to read it and that is to get an exceeds expectations in history of magic which is to read a book that features a map so that's what's on the TBR this week I mean we're not gonna read all of this we're not gonna read all of this so that's like three maybe four full books if we count of ice and shadows if i do end up reading that as well so right now what is the time oh, i have to leave for work in like an hour and 20 minutes i really just want to keep watching bon voyage but i know i need to start the night circus i might just have to resist the bon voyage pull and read the night circus and then when i get home from work tonight then i can watch more bon voyage <laughs> oh but i also wanted to say i got in my first sweet legs order and i got these really cool ones that have cats and books on them and i love them so much this is not sponsored or anything i paid for them with my own money because uh lala works at sweet legs and they always look so good and guys these are the most comfortable leggings I've ever worn in my life they are so soft and I, I'm obsessed I also just got a plain black pair as well and I'm living my best life right now feels like I'm not wearing any pants okay I'm gonna go now and get my life in order hey fam so it is Tuesday I have to leave for work very soon but I just got this from the postman and I'm starting to think maybe I should take down my Amazon wish list because you guys are just too kind like I don't know what to do with myself 
I am just, I'm so grateful. Please know you don't have to send me anything. And I just, I love you all. Even if all you do is click on my video. But we're gonna open this before I have to leave. Yes, my hair is a mess. Oh well. So let's see what's in here. You people are so naughty, I swear. Oh my goodness. These are from Kelsey and they sent a really sweet note along with it. Oh my gosh, I know who you are. I know who you are, Kelsey. I see you. We've spoken on Twitter. Uh, oh my gosh, thank you so, so much. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Guys. I have these now to add to my collection. If you didn't uh, watch my last vlog from last week, I read these. I got these out from the library. And oh my gosh, I'm so happy that I actually own them because Avatar is my favorite thing in the whole world, apart from Harry Potter. And oh my goodness, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for these. Along with those, we also have Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. I have wanted this for so long. Ever since it was first announced, I have wanted this. Apparently it's a really feminist book all about these girls who live on Sawkill Rock where girls have been disappearing for decades and these girls decide to fight back. Kelsey, I cannot thank you enough for these gifts. You don't know how much it means to me, honestly. Oh, I'm so lucky. Okay. I better go so I'm not late for work. Uh, quick reading update. I have started listening to The Hero of Ages on audiobook and I have started The Night Circus. I still need to read my section for today. So I need to do that, but I just cannot stop watching Bon Voyage season one. Uh, I've never watched Bon Voyage before. I don't know why, so that's happening. So I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of like, I don't feel like reading right now. I just feel like watching Bon Voyage and just crying. So yeah, I'm gonna try and keep reading The Night Circus because I don't wanna let Kara down because we're buddy reading it. But I am really enjoying it so far. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm really liking it. So there's that. So yeah, I'm gonna go now and I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. <sighs> Hello. So it is Wednesday. I've been in kind of a weird mood this week. I'm just not in a reading mood. I'm just in a BTS mood. But I'll update you on what I have read so far this week. So I am 53 pages into The Hero of Ages. Fun times. And I am 181 pages into The Night Circus, but I still need to read my section for today. So what I think I'm going to do is I really need to clean my house because my parents are coming tomorrow and early next week um, we're getting photographers in to take photos of the house um, because um, the house is selling. So I might get the audiobook of the night circus off of audible and listen to that while i clean that way i can definitely get my section read for today and then if i'm still cleaning by the time i finish today's section i can continue on with my audiobook for the hero of ages so i think that's what i'm gonna do um for the rest of the afternoon slash tonight it's already like 5 p.m but i today i filmed a lot i filmed and edited two videos and I'm halfway through filming my clockwork prints annotation video, but I had to stop because it's like the sun is setting and I have stuff to do, so I'll film the rest of it tomorrow. But for now, it's time to clean. <sighs> hey friends, I just want to apologize that I haven't been vlogging much. It is Friday already. I how did that happen? I don't know. But basically, just this week, I really haven't been in the reading mood, which hasn't happened to me in years. I have read a bit more of The Night Circus, though, but I did come home with... Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with the lawnmower noise. But uh, yesterday, I had to come home from work early because I had a massive migraine. It was so, so terrible. I honestly almost didn't make it home without throwing up in my car, but I made it and I slept for so long. So I'm a bit behind on my night circus read, but that's okay. But I came home to three packages yesterday, but I obviously couldn't open them because I could barely open my eyes. <laughs> so we're going to open them now. So I have two from Alan and Unwin and one from the Book Depository, which I think is a pre-order and it's the only August release that I was like really excited for. So let's just open that one first because I cannot wait. Okay. 
<laughs> this is Of Ice and Shadows by Audrey Colthurst. This is the sequel to Of Fire and Stars, which is one of my favorite books I've read all year so far. I am so unbelievably excited for this. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm feeling more in the reading mood now. Okay, let's open these ones. I see something pink. Oh, oh my gosh, I've seen this around heaps. This is The Surprising Power of a Good Dumpling by Wei Chim. Oh my gosh, look at this adorable cover. This is by an Australian author. It's, I believe, own voices. Look at all of these dumplings. Oh, it's also got lots of text messages. It says, Anna Chiu has her hands full looking after her siblings and helping out at her dad's restaurant, all while her mum stays in bed. The new delivery boy, Rory, is a welcome distraction and even though things aren't right at home, Anna's starting to feel like she could be just a normal teen. But when mum finally gets out of bed, things go from bad to worse. And as mum's condition worsens, Anna and her family question everything they understand about themselves and each other. A nourishing tale about the crevices of culture, mental wellness and family from the highly acclaimed author of Freedom Swimmer. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm really excited for this. Thank you so much, Ellen and Unwin. This looks so good. Okay, I'm really, really happy with that. And I think that's already out. If it's not, I'll leave the publication date on the screen. Okay, now this one. Okay, this is Impossible Music by Sean Williams. Ooh, look at this cover. Ooh. So it's about our main character, Simon, and music in his life but he's devastated when a mini stroke obliterates his hearing oh my goodness in an emotionally compelling tale crackling with originality simon's quest to create an entirely new form of music forces him into a deeper understanding of his relationship to the hearing world of himself and of the girl he meets along the way and this is also written by an australian author wow this sounds really emotional so thank you so much ellen and unwin and thank you to past me for pre-ordering this book Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go have some lunch and get ready to go to work and then catch up on my reading of Night Circus and let's be real, probably just watch some YouTube videos. <laughs> It is now Sunday. I've been pretty busy entertaining my parents while they're here and we've done like a massive cleanup and rearranging of the house so I'll show you a tour later but for now uh, you will have just seen uh, my mom and I went out to a couple of op shops and I found some books for really cheap and I also got another package in the mail yesterday. <sighs> I just I, I can't believe I'm still getting birthday presents. People are so, so, so nice. So we're gonna open it and then I'm gonna show you the books which you will have already kind of seen in my little clips that I filmed, but let's open this. Okay, note, that's a receipt. Is there a note, is there a note, is there a note? I don't feel a note. Oh my gosh. This is Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. Oh my gosh, oh, it's purple. So this is about two people who used to be friends and they go on a camping trip. I think their families go on a camping trip together, but they end up alone in the wilderness together. <laughs> I am so excited for this. So whoever sent this to me, thank you so, so, so much. I'm so excited, oh my goodness. Okay, now moving on to the books that I got today. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So first I got another copy of Jane Eyre because you guys know I collect these. Whenever I see a copy and it's in like reasonably good condition, I want to pick it up because it's my favorite classic. And then I also found Jane Eyre Laid Bare, which is a retelling that's like a romance version. I don't know. Just, I saw the words Jane Eyre, couldn't help myself. Then I got 
An unexpected purchase is marked by PC and Kristen Cast. This has gorgeous sprayed edges. But I wanted to do a video where I read like the old classic YA books. So I don't know when that video will be out because I want to collect some others. Like I want to do Hush Hush, probably Fallen, like all of those ones. So I don't know when I'll do that, but I've started my collection for that video. <laughs> then we have Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I was so excited to see this there. This is a book I've wanted to read for a really long time. It follows after the apocalypse or something and it follows like a acting crew or something. I don't know. I'm excited. Then we've got 10 Things I Had About Me by Randa Abdel Fattah. I think I used to own this, but my copy was really filthy, so I got rid of it. But Randa Abdel Fattah is one of my favorite Australian authors. She tends to have, um... oh my gosh, this is signed. <gasps> Dear Kate, well, I guess my new name is Kate. Wow, that is so exciting um yeah she wrote uh when michael met mina which is also called what is it called i can't remember i'll leave the cover here but um it's such a phenomenal book and she usually has a uh, muslim representation so i'm excited to check this out and then lastly i have life after life by kate atkinson i think whitney read this semi recently and it just sounds really interesting it's about this girl every time she dies she goes back to the beginning of her life and gets to live it again and like try and get past that point. I don't know if that makes any sense. What if you had the chance to live your life again and again until you finally got it right is the tagline. There's a dog. Oh. But yeah, this cover also just really drew me in. I mean, dog. But yeah, this just seems just really interesting. So there you have it. There's my little haul for today. Um, I am going to be quite busy this weekend because I have more family members coming uh, after lunch and then we're going out for a big family dinner and then tomorrow is probably going to be spent doing more cleaning. As for the night circus, I'm now on page 372 so I'm a little bit behind on our buddy read because I've just been really busy the last couple of days. So hopefully I will get time to finish this tomorrow, but I am really enjoying it. I still have no idea what's going on, but it's really atmospheric and I'm really enjoying the whole circus and just the magic behind it and the characters are really interesting. So yeah, we'll see. But that's about it for now. Um, I better go prepare for more guests. Hi. She went from four to What's that? Helicopter! In the sky! It's a helicopter! <gasps> Can you see it? Where is it? It's over there! There it is! Say hello! Hello! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I've missed you, Bowie. I know, oh, my boy. Hello. Hey, you like me. Later on. Later. Yeah, You'll later. see it the Salvo. You can show everyone this afternoon. It's hard on the neck, isn't it? Oh, 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 <laughs> you want bubbles? Oh yes. 
Gigi will do bubbles. Up the sunny coast, we can see the stars really well. Mm. <gasps> Ooh, catch him! <laughs> Turn around! Oh, here, look. here they come! Get him! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay! 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 Yay. 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 Woohoo! Oh, good job! Yay! Mummy. Yeah. They run around out the front with him playing footy. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, how he loves it. He doesn't really play with younger kids. Yeah, he, he likes the people children. Mm. <gasps> he needs higher Woo! He needs higher or equal intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Yay! Yay! <coughs> so excited. Take yeah. it to daddy. Good, good luck. Ooh! Good job! Yay! Kick it! Kick the ball! <laughs> Alright, running kick Ready? it to daddy. More applause, please. More applause. Yay! Kick the ball, buddy. Kick yeah. the ball. Kick yeah, more Yay! 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 Get the ball. <laughs> kick it! Kick it! Yay! Oh, good kick! Yay! Yay! Oh, <laughs> Yay! 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 The pussy cats. Yeah, it's a pussy cat. Yeah, it's a pussy cat. Yeah. Wow. Can you see the other one? There's the other one. Look. There's the other one. It's a pussy cat. Give him a pat. Oh, that's so nice, Bowie. Yeah, it's another one. It's another pussy cat. You like pussy cats? Oh, that's so nice. So nice of you, Bowie. Yeah, what's over there? Hey? Do you want some chippies? Some food? Oh, you want chippies? Let's go. I was totally gonna sit in that chair, but he's too cute. So, hello. It's Monday, which means I need to wrap up this vlog. And let me tell you, not a lot of reading got done this week. Hey, Lumi. I did end up finishing one book though, so look, it wasn't terrible. So I finished The Night Circus yesterday and I really enjoyed it. I think I'm giving it a four stars, possibly a 3.5, I'm not too sure, but it definitely picks up like in the last quarter. I feel like the first three quarters are quite slow, nothing really happens. It's just sort of building the atmosphere and the setting and you're kind of left wondering what the heck is going on and then you finally get answers and it's pretty satisfying. I don't think it's the best book I've ever read. I can definitely appreciate it. I loved the characters and the atmosphere and I can't wait to read her new book coming out in, it's coming out in November? But yeah, it didn't blow me away. So 
There you go. And in terms of all of the other books that I was reading, I am on chapter four of Harry Potter, so really need to get a move on with that. I'm still 55 pages into the Magnolia Sword, and I am 90 pages into the Hero of Ages. So yeah, not the best reading week, not the worst reading week either. Oh, I said I'd also give you a tour of the house now that it's like rearranged, so let's do that. So this is outside, it's very cute. And then we come inside, hello. Hi, is this your house? Wow, ma'am, you have a lovely home. And then this is the front living room. Fun fact, I painted this when I was like eight years old. Wow, what an artiste. Then our room just looks kind of the same. That's my leftovers from lunch. It's all right, it's all right. Oh yes, you can get all of your toys out. Get your toy, get your toy. And then this is a spare room. Wow, so exciting. And then this is the Z dining slash reading corner slash oscar cuddle center and he is escaping the cuddles how rude excuse me sir you should be appreciating these cuddles he's got dirt in his nose again oh oscar i don't understand do you just stick your face in dirt i don't understand okay no, okay okay anymore. okay cute wedding photo but also cute cat and the, the, the kitchen and the Luna eating the cat biscuits that aren't hers. Wow, iconic. Blackie outside. Hi Blackie, what are you doing? Okay, cool, outside, wow. Bathroom, wow. Luna, wow. Oscar, wow. Don't know where Moon Boots is. And now Blackie's on the chair. Weren't you just outside like two seconds ago? Wizard. He's my little wizard. You're my little wizard. Hey. What a good boy. Blink once if you're a wizard. Does that count? I, I don't know. That, count. <laughs> that, that was a blink. <laughs> How about, don't blink if you're a wizard. Confirmed. He opened his eyes a little bit wider. Oh my god, he's a wizard. We all knew it. We all knew it, you. So there you have it. That's the house tour of the house that we'll only be living in for like eight more weeks. But I have to go and edit this vlog and then go to work. Oh shoot, I have to go to work soon. What's the time? Oh, I have to leave in like an hour. Okay. Okay, Luna. Time to say goodbye. Say goodbye, everybody. Rude. Okay, that's it for this week's reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon in next week's reading vlog slash videos. <laughs> goodbye.